if you want one for a while, I say a Switch is worth it. Definitely get a Nintendo Switch when you have the money. I think it's worth it. Nintendo Switch is like one of my favorite consoles. PS4 is another because, you know, trophy support. I love Nintendo Switch's portability, though. We're gonna face you, aren't we? Fight me. Yep. Become the strongest monster team owner in all the world. Our passionate encounter will take place here in my monstrous pit. This is the final rank, rank S. In rounds one and two of rank S, you will fight against the two strongest monster teams I ever see. And in the final round, you will fight me! Okay, ragazzo. It is time for you to show just what you are made of. Passion versus passion. Gusto versus gusto. Don't worry. I have given the life back to your dead team members. Yeah, you always you. And don't think I will be going easy. I don't wish you the buona fortuna. Now, we are rival. That's fair. I will be waiting for you in my pit. All right, we're gonna try this now and see if we have a chance. Should be able to beat Mori though. I would think. If not, we'll just have to get more monsters. No big deal. I'll probably get like another monster or two because there are new monsters that are now roaming the world after clearing rank B. One other thing: trying to get Sunshine for GameCube is expensive now. I have to check the collection is cheaper. Is Sunshine expensive? <laughs> I got mine way back in the day. <laughs> like, it was like, back when I still played my GameCube, but I haven't really checked Sunshine's prices. I lost my disc, though, so <laughs> I might get this collection just for a chance. And if it's not much, then sure, I'd take it. I have to look at the price. Like, depending on the price, I will buy it. Like, even if the price is kind of, even if it's like $40, I'd pay that. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin in the red corner. In the blue corner, captained by Tornico Taloon. Live from Lakanaba, it's Taloon's treasure. Uh, what? Tornico Taloon? He's from Dragon Quest IV. How did I not notice that? It's a dream duel for Monster Arena fools. That's really nice. They added a Dragon Quest IV character as like a little cameo. Tornico is from... Oh, it's this theme. Awesome. It's a boss theme. Love it. Tornico Taloon is from Dragon Quest IV. Really nice touch. I also love that it's the boss theme right now. That's a nice touch. So that mimic. Ow. Got him. Yeah, that's a really nice touch. Adding like another Dragon Quest character. They even said Tornico Taloon, and it looked just like him. Alright, this team isn't too bad. It's actually not that bad. It's pretty easy, honestly. It's Cannabot. The Mimic King is the only thing that's a problem, if anything. It's like the most dangerous one. 
Also, I love that Mejio Slime is conserving its MP. Because we're gonna need it for the later fights. Even Mori himself, probably. Kill him! Ow. Kill him. Please die. Got him. Alright, that's perfect. My heal slime, my cure slime used no heals. It has full mana for the next two fights. The fans are going absolutely wild. Was that Ragnar? I think that was Ragnar I saw. Another Dragon Quest IV character. Yeah, it's him. Captained by Ragnar. The Burland Buddies. It's Healy's Healy. That's a really redundant name. It's a glorious contest of havoc and hostility. I like Dragon Quest puns, but sometimes I hate them. I, I, I like them for the most part, but there are times when I just straight out hate them. Oh, they have a heal slime as well. No, what are you doing? You're supposed to heal. Why on earth would you, um... I don't know if you did it, try to attack. Oh my goodness. It needs to heal. I don't know why it's wasting its time attacking. There's like so much RNG. Because I can't tell the monsters what to do. They're just gonna go on their own. Please heal. Thank you. Alright, my troll better not die. <laughs> I'm hoping my troll doesn't die. Alright, this is fine. Still fine. All right, that one's dead. Good job. Kill the heal slime. Or heal slime should die because the heal slime can heal them. I'm sure. <sighs> Ow. I don't know why they're not aiming on the heal slime. Ow. Alright, kill the Gigantes, but also I need you to kill that heal slime. Yeah, I figured to do that. Alright, 88 is not that bad. I'm doing so much damage. Thank goodness. Kill something. Alright, perfect. It's working out. Alright, we're good, we're good. Now we just need Mori. I think Mori, Mori said he's the third round. So it's only two rounds before Mori, and honestly, they're not like too hard. Like, Hornico's team wasn't that hard, and this fight isn't that much harder. The healing's gonna be annoying, but besides that, this isn't that hard. I'm a little worried about Mori himself, though. I worry how hard Mori hit is gonna be. Oh, why does he even waste his time with that? Alright, it's down. Alright, now we just gotta fight the king himself. A once in a lifetime event with unimaginable implications. Our champion has obtained every rank in existence. That is why we've created a very new one. Rank S. The battle for rank S will be the battle to end all battles. And the champion will have to defeat none other than the man himself, Mori! This is it, the creme de la creme, the battle royale, the mother of all monster arena contests. In the red corner, we have our hero's monster team. In the blue corner, captained by Mori. Numero unos, it's Mori's glory! He has a liquid metal slime and he has the same cure slime as me. I hate it. You think you got what it takes to go toes to toes with me, eh? Bring it on, ragazzo! You're in my pit now! Weren't we always in your pit? Which monster team will emerge victorious? Which monster team has what it takes? It's impossible to predict until we get it on! I love that they changed the dialogue for that to make it like more unique. Alright. Let's see how this goes. 
He's got a liquid metal slime. And he has he has the same heal slime as me. Actually, this could work, because that means that his only hard hitter is the Hell Gladiator. Oh, but that thing has Kaboom, never mind. Oh my god, please heal yourself. Do it quickly. Oh my goodness, I swear. I'm gonna lose because my Cure Slime is dumb. I'm gonna lose because my Cure Slime is dumb. Oh my goodness. Not believe what just happened there. I'm legit gonna lose because my Cure Slime made a really dumb mistake. Oh my goodness. I, I don't mind. It's healing, but it should be healing itself. Because if it dies, I don't have a healer. I hate when healers are this selfless. Like, they don't heal themselves. Oh, yeah, I figured. That was annoying. Also, I need something to die. The thing is, I'd probably be able to win this if my Cure Slime was smarter. The only reason I lost is because my Cure Slime kept itself at 5 HP the whole time. It should have healed itself first, and it shouldn't even bother attacking. I need something to die to know- oh, of course. Oh, that sucks. Just kill the Heal Slime or the Gladiator. The, the Liquid Metal Slime should be last. Also, it's the lowest amount of damage dealing. Oh, that sucks. I'm probably gonna lose this. Because my heal slime was dumb. Cure slime. I'm aware it's called the cure slime, but I'm calling it a heal slime. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I do not like the monster arena. At all. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm trying this again. I can win. I can definitely win this. I can win if RNG is on my side. As in, if my Cure Slime doesn't die like it just did. I'm definitely trying this again. You fight it. You don't. Don't worry. Yeah, give. Thank you. Okay. I'm. I'm fighting again. I can definitely do this. Like, I don't need to get more monsters. I think I got it. If my- I'm gonna try one more time. If I lose, though, I am gonna stop this for today, and I'll come back to this. Yeah, if I lose again, I am gonna come back to this. Yeah, we know all the monster teams. I am just gonna skip through the dialogue, because I watched it, like, five minutes ago. It sucks because all I can do is press fight and then they do their own actions and another thing is that my monsters can be really dumb and make dumb decisions and then if they make dumb decisions then you know it's on me it can actually cost me a match like my heal slime went down like that and it wasn't healing like it should have so much RNG because you can't tell your monsters what to do. It's a nice touch, the monster arena, but I definitely wouldn't... It's not my thing. I would not invest time if I didn't get Mori at the end of this. Like, if I was playing the PS2 version, I would not touch this. I would probably do one or two ranks and then be done with it. But getting a character is worth it. So, I can go through it for that. This is like Sonic Adventures Chow Karate, which is actually kind of adorable, because that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Alright, I used mana that time, but it's fine. I still have a chance to win. These first two matches aren't crazy hard, so that's a good thing. In the blue. It's a 
Alright. I need that heal slime to die first. Thank goodness. No, no, get the heal slime. They always get the enemy on the left most. Need to play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle mainly for the Chow games. Yo! I I I don't know if I should say this, but intent, there may or may not be a Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough coming up. Where where I will try to platinum the game. I love Sonic Adventure 2. It's my favorite platformer. And my favorite Sonic game. Sonic Adventure 2 is a great game. There may or may not. Yeah, so... You guys know, I just revealed it. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. Hopefully this year, I want to do a playthrough of that game. Where I'm going to try to get the Platinum. Because so I like Sonic Adventure 1. Do not get me wrong. Sonic Adventure 1 is good. It will always have that place in my heart. But Sonic Adventure 2... Sonic Adventure 2 is, like, improved upon it in so many ways, and I love it. To get a release for PS3 or something? Yeah, it's on PS3. They, they released a port. They ported it to PS3, and it's also on PlayStation Now. So if you have a PS4, you can also play it on PlayStation Now on PS4. So yeah, it's on PlayStation Now. They also ported it to Xbox 360, I think. I think those ports were, like... Whenever they ported it to Steam, you know, Sonic games are on Steam. Whenever they brought it to Steam, they brought it to PS3 and PS3 and Xbox 360. So yeah, they have a trophy system now. Which I'm happy about, because I definitely want to platinum it. Yeah, they ported it to 360. That's when they ported it to PS3. And, and, a quick tip, if you have a PS4 and you, and you subscribe to PlayStation Now, then you can play on PlayStation Now, PS4. So you, you have a lot of ways of playing Sonic Adventure games. It's really awesome. Probably play it on PlayStation Now, I think. No, I'll probably, I don't know what I'm gonna play it on, but I have it, like, on many different platforms. No, no more Kaboom. Yeah, I cannot wait to play that game. I love it. Maybe after this game. We'll see how I'm feeling and we'll see when I finish this game. Maybe I'll play it after this. Because man talking about it makes me want to play it. Because of course that's how video games work. When I'm talking about a video game, I want to play it. Oh yes, I got a crit. It's RNG, but I don't care. RNG was used on my side. I got RNG to go against him. Love it. I'll take it. I hate this monster arena. Don't have a PS4. You still have the GC GameCube release for it and did 100% at once. Not the most fun thing. Oh, really? It is kind of grindy, I guess, with the Chow stuff. Don't you have to, like, breed a chow or something for 100%? Isn't I can see 100 percenting be a nightmare. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that the trophies aren't too bad. I'm hoping that they're not annoying. Because I really do want to platinum it. But if they're a little extreme, I might not. I'm really hoping they're reasonable. And they're at least kind of fun to get. Oh, but you don't have a PS4. You have- you can get it on Steam. You have a lot of stuff to get it on. You can get, um, Sonic Adventure on a lot of stuff. PS3, Xbox 360, probably Xbox One. You have a lot of options for Sonic games, for Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sonic Unleashed is probably hard to 100%. I never finished Sonic Unleashed. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, like, I feel like Sonic... I mean, a lot of people agree with this, I think, from what I hear on the internet. But Sonic games have definitely, like, lowered in quality, I feel. 
feel like the last good Sonic game was like... Um, I don't know. Sonic Generations was pretty good, and Sonic Colors was good, but I feel like Sonic Heroes... Sonic Heroes was like the last good Sonic game in my mind. I feel like everything after that... Even 06 wasn't that bad, in my opinion. I know a lot- I, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of hate for Sonic O- me saying Sonic 06 is... Alright, that's fine. I only need one more enemy. But um, I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I did it. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying Sonic 06 is not that bad, and it's a pretty good game, but I don't care. I win. Oh, I never played Sonic Mania. I want to play Sonic Mania. I heard that was really good. Generations was okay. Good. Those Generations was pretty good. My point is that Sonic has definitely lowered in quality compared to how it was. Sonic was a lot better in, like, the Adventure Days, Heroes, even 06. <laughs> We've done it. I never have to look at this monster arena again. I love it. 